Penny Young, and I'm an Intermedia composer. I enjoy taking music technology and mixing it with classical music to create new, innovative art forms. A few years ago, I wanted to create an epic opera. But, well, I didn't have any music, I didn't have any money, I didn't even have an opera company. All I had was my talent and the tools at my disposal, like my old iMac. But I was able to use internet collaboration and technology to make the epic, groundbreaking Libertaria the Virtual Opera. how to use the internet to realize your greatest musical dreams, and how contemporary composers like Pauline Oliveros, Alex Shapiro, and Eric Whitaker, and others have used the internet today to create innovative classical music, classical music for the diverse generation of today. At the end of this short video, I would like to challenge you to take what you have learned today and achieve your most ambitious artistic dreams using technology. There is no limit but your imagination. No prison you can't break out of when you use your ingenuity, your passion, and your talent. The future of music is now. The 21st century opened new horizons of innovation and technology for today's emerging composers. Building on technology of the past century, today's composers embrace social media, virtual reality, and animation. Music production for Libertaria blurred lines between traditional opera and new media. Libertaria involved a dramatic libretto, moving vocal music, and a larger-than-life story. But, unlike a traditional opera composer, I used technology to audition cast members through social media, employed electroacoustic techniques like merging two singers' voices, adding in synthesized voices and sampled choirs, animating via virtual stagecraft, and composed the entire orchestral score using an old iMac. I produced an entire opera production without a single rehearsal. Creating an online opera on a micro budget had many challenges. First, I needed to find musicians. To do this, I used the Music X-Ray website, Facebook, artist message boards, and listservs to conduct online auditions. I listened to their tracks and found musicians that had both talent and a passion for opera. In the end, Libertaria had a small, dedicated cast that included music guru, indie rockers, and emerging opera stars after auditions that spanned North America, South America, and Europe. The Libertaria cast volunteered their time and talent throughout the two years of production, but never met in person. Cast members downloaded a rehearsal album from Bandcamp.com that included click tracks, music, a libretto, and recording instructions. Each cast member recorded their individual part and sent me raw recordings via email in the cloud. I then listened to each take, editing the good takes, and making a test mix in Logic for the animators. For the final soundtrack, the best takes were mixed and mastered. With over 1,000 takes, mixing the final soundtrack was a massive undertaking. I worked with composer Patrick Runeblad to create the final soundtrack for the film. To create Libertaria, the virtual opera, I used an animation style called Machinima. Unlike traditional animation, where an animator draws a film frame by frame by frame, either by hand or using a computer, in Machinima, the characters move in a preset virtual world and the director records them using cameras, like a live production. As video game developer Mike Kelly says, Machinima is a video game with the game removed. In Machinima, you control the characters and tell them how to move, what to say, and where to go with a few clicks of the mouse. Using the Machinima software Movie Storm, the animation team quickly created complex sets, dropping in customized characters and directing them with commands like an actor on the live stage. The intuitive software, low cost, and quick results are only some of the reasons 
why I was able to produce a feature-length animated opera for less than $1,000. Since the premiere at South Florida's Concerts at Calvary series, hosted by Dr. Clara Shore, Libertarian the Virtual Opera has been screened live and online by thousands at venues like the Holland Animation Film Festival, MovieStorm.com, TEDx Buffalo, music festivals and universities, and on websites like YouTube and Vandalism. Wanting to open source the opera, I encourage pirates to download my film, resulting in more guerrilla film distribution. Libertaria the Virtual Opera can be enjoyed by anyone with an internet connection. With Libertaria, the audience experiences the opera on their own terms. They can watch it on the big screen, on TV, on a laptop or smartphone. They can comment on YouTube, download the film, watch a favorite song over and over again, share clips with friends through social media, or even make their own mashup. You don't need to wear a tie or buy expensive tickets to enjoy Libertaria. Libertaria is the opera you can watch in your pajamas. Other composers have embraced new technology with innovative new projects. Composer Matt Pitzinger, inspired by Libertaria, has started work on his epic neo-baroque opera, Aetius. Aetius has a definite cinematic look and takes machinima opera to a new level of art. UK-based composer and programmer Lee Scott will premiere his unique social media opera, the Village in spring 2015, an exciting opera set in an animated online virtual world parallel and affected directly by our own. This social media opera evolves in pseudo real time over a month at www.thevillageopera.com. The libretto and vocal lines are created by Lee Scott, but are then morphed through the creative hands of international composers rethinking the very idea of authorship in the digital age. What started out as a request for fans to post a video singing his song Sleep on YouTube grew into a worldwide online choir created from hundreds of videos from excited fans. Eric Whitaker created a worldwide phenomenon with his virtual choirs. Working with a talented video editor, Whitaker compiled hundreds of fan videos into a massive virtual choir, adding in video game inspired animation. Legendary composer Pauline Oliveros continues to break ground with cutting edge technology. In 2006, Oliveros conducted a unique musical experiment between the Deep Listening Institute, Mills College, and dancers in France over the internet in real time. Today, the telematic circle, an idea devised by Pauline Oliveros from these early experiments, involves dozens of institutions that are part of the research consortium Internet2. Over 250 universities and corporations are dedicated to advancing internet technology. The telematic circle conducts telepresent concerts worldwide. To reach the 21st century audience, composer Alex Shapiro moved her music to the stage of Second Life, an online gaming virtual world where avatars attended virtual concerts of works like Below for contrabass, flute, and electronics. Recently, Shapiro has explored live video chat with a series of works called Lights Out. She personally chats with middle school band students online, asking for their input and ideas in the creation of new musical works. These ideas are compiled online and incorporated into her commissions. Works like the Lights Out Project involve younger generations in the creation of contemporary music using technology used by today's tech-savvy teens. These composers use technology like social media, real-time internet collaboration, and virtual reality to create new exciting 21st century musical performances, taking classical music to the cutting edge of technology and innovation. Other projects like Opera by You involved crowdsourcing an entire opera production from concept to libretto to score and staging using the Norway Bayside Reka movie, resulting in the end work Free Will performed live at the Savon Lina Opera Festival, demonstrating that any musical project, even a complicated live opera production, can be completed using social media and crowdsourcing. Using the ideas behind crowdsourcing, composer Robert Voisey, director of Vox Novus, 
develop the 60x60 60 60 project. In 60x60, 60 60, composers submit 60-second electronic works, which are then compiled by a macro composer into an eclectic one-hour electronic concert. To date, the 60x60 60 60 project has involved the music of over 1,000 composers performed throughout Europe, Asia, and the Americas, as well as interdisciplinary collaborations with dancers and filmmakers. Classical music is not dead. Classical music has evolved. There are countless composers using social media, virtual worlds, robotics, and the internet to create incredible music on a global scale. How can you use internet collaboration and technology to realize your dreams? First, use the tools that you have. You don't need to be a computer genius. Machinima software is very user-friendly. Social media easily connects you to other artists internationally, and the cloud allows for easy swapping of files during production. You can fund projects using crowdsourcing tools like Kickstarter and Indiegogo, or cut the costs of any production significantly by incorporating animation, virtual reality, film, or robotics. Choose a few tools that you're good at, then figure out how you can create a work within the parameters of your accessible tools. Second, you need to find your team. I could have never created Libertaria the Virtual Opera alone. Find talented and passionate artists to work with you through social media, online A&R sites, music message boards, and internet communities. Conduct online auditions through email or hire a talented professional musician quickly using Fiverr.com or Elance. Money is no longer a barrier to music making. Three, find your audience. Today, the audience finds their music through video websites, social media, and streaming radio. Tomorrow, they'll find their music through virtual reality, wearable devices, and personal robots. By creating a machinima opera available online, I'm able to reach thousands and thousands of music lovers throughout the world. You don't need to think outside the box. You need to destroy the box. The enterprising musician easily connects with thousands, even millions, through the internet at a very low cost. Find where your audience discovers music and then showcase your work through that medium. The future of music is now. Pursue your most ambitious dreams. Embrace technology. Find your audience. Connect with others. And who knows, maybe the next Whitaker or Shapiro or Oliveros is you. Thank you for joining me today.